Hey guys, what's cracking? It is Kraken Nation, coach of the Boston Bishops, and we are coming at you guys today with our CSL playoffs semifinals match against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cavaliers, coached by Hyman. I was behind. My name is Bobbert. We played this guy early in the season. He uh, started off definitely having a pretty rough season, but actually just went on an absolute streak at the end and just uh, just f battled his way and really got to give him props for making playoffs. Um, definitely was uh, nervous at this game. Usually players that won the first one are in a deficit coming into the second, so I was a little scared, but I think I managed to uh, put together a pretty good team, so I was pretty uh, I was scared going in, and felt, but I felt like I had bought a good team. So I won't tell you guys how the game result uh, how it panned out, but we'll talk about uh, the, basically just the plays I made, the team I brought. This is a flame charge. Actually, we'll start from this side. This is just a really basic um, defensive slow row. Uh, it's got calm mind just to become a potential win condition, but uh, it helps us take on all the plethora of physical attackers that this team has to throw at me. Scallopede, uh, obviously, a Swords Dance, Z Bug, Scallopede's a problem, but then takes on Landers really well, takes on Blaziken 100% of the time without Z Solar Beam. That's tough. Um, so, Shift Gear Magirna. Uh, it's pretty standard, but it's also got um, it's got a Z Flur Cannon, which is a little different uh, than what I've usually done in the past. Uh, it's plan the plan with Magirna is kind of be a late a mid game nuke, uh, and then just kind of nuke stuff with Chandelure and Magirna. Chandelure is a flame charging life orb uh, offensive set, just basically just to punch through everything. It Oko's everything, but after rocks damage on this team almost. Um, Garchomp is a uh, just a pretty much a standard offensive swords dance set. Um, it is the team's rocker and it's also the designated lead. Um, Gudra is a really really standard AV set. Um, pretty much just puts work reliably against the team. Um, and Swellow is actually the most cool set of them all. This is a scarf special Swellow. Uh, definitely was made to catch him off guard. Um, outspeeds a lot of stuff. Outspeeds with neck trick. Outspeeds all his scarfers. It's a really good little emergency check. Uh, potentially outspeeds Scalpeter if it's adamant at plus one. Um, just really batters a lot of stuff, so yeah. Further ado, let's get into it. I decided to lead Garchomp as he leads Scallopede. Um, I am a Life Orb Garchomp, and, uh, but I also am running Stone Edge just in case of this lead matchup. He does actually set up Toxic Spikes, and I click Stone Edge. He's uh, Sash. I'm really worried about Endeavor here more than anything. Uh, I do make a... So I was really hell-bent on clicking Stealth Rocks in case of Endeavor. I realize in hindsight that was kind of a mistake. Um, I was really fearing the Endeavor here, I think, is the reason I clicked Stealth Rocks. But I really should have just killed this. Um, but considering the fact that he set up Toxic Spikes, and I need to get rid of the uh, Toxic Spikes, and I know I'm going to need to get rid of the Toxic Spikes, I should, like, to win this game, because Slowbro has to get rid of them, Gudra, uh, even Garchomp to an extent, so Chandelure needs them gone. I really know, I, I know Swell is running Defog, and I know I need to get rid of it. So I'm, I should have not, probably just clicked, killed this thing, but I was scared, scared of Endeavor, like, clicked Rocks. Um, yeah, probably a mistake. Um, but yeah, so I clicked rocks there. He actually manages to get uh, some chip on the guard shot, which ends up being pretty crucial later in the match. Um, and I clicked the stone edge there and get the kill. Didn't want to risk the earthquake just in case uh, Land uh, Landers wanted to switch in. Um, and I, I really wanted that chip on Landers. So he does proceed to go into metric here, knowing hidden power, icing, and outspeed. I want to save this, um, but I guess so I go into Gudra here. Pretty much uh, the obvious play by me. Unfortunately, that means Gudra has to get poisoned and is going to be worn down. Um, he can basically click Earthquake here for free. Um, I, so unfortunately, if he, this all this reveals that he's an offensive Landorus and tells me actually nothing if he's like a Scarf or a Band or a Z or a Double Dance or what. I have no I have no idea. Makes his Landorus a lot more threatening. So I go into Swellow, uh, knowing that pretty much if he's a Scarf, uh, which is the only set without Speed Swell, pretty much Swellow never runs Scarf, right? He's probably assuming I'm Specs or something. Uh, if he's Scarf... It's basically, he expects that Swellow beats all Landorus sets at this point. Because if he's Scarf and he's locked in Earthquake, Swellow can just click Poopers for free. <laughs> if he's not Scarf and he's locked into that, uh, I can uh, s uh, threaten it. But he goes into Exploud, uh, which kind of means this thing's probably Assault Vest. I do get the Defog off, which is huge considering his Hazard Setter just died. Um, and I'm pretty afraid of this thing clicking Boom Burst because I know that I'm not killing it. And I'm also Scarf locked into Defog. Uh, so I switched into Boom Burst and went with Magirna no again set up. Uh, I click the... Uh, he clicked the boomers that I switched into that. He does click Fire Blast here as I set up click Aura Sphere. Um, I, he, oh, actually, he clicks Circle Throw on the first round time. True. He clicks Circle Throw, which is scary as hell. Uh, I have Chandelure here, but I'm afraid of the boom burst. Uh, but Chandelure, unfortunately for me, kills. Um, and so uh, that, was, that was, a I think, a roll 
might not have been, um, but I was definitely afraid of it missing. Uh, circle throw was pretty cool, just in case I set up with Magirna. Um, goes into Shan, goes into Calvary. I couldn't click Flame Charge there, just because this thing X was gonna destroy him with the Boom Burst if I didn't kill it. Um, he goes into this. Uh, I can go into Slowbro here basically uh, and just take this Earthquake really well. Um, I'm at this point I'm pretty sure I have to Mega because if I don't Mega, um, I can't take the uh, Z Earthquake uh, reliably, which is unfortunate because I don't, don't really don't want to Mega here, but I do Mega. Uh, and then he actually hits me with the Z Grass Knot, which is super cool prep. Gotta give, uh, hi, my name is Bobbert. Gotta give Bob a lot of props for that. That's a, a super cool prep option. Um, destroys my slow bro. And all of a sudden, this game just got a, took a, took a huge turn for the worse because Blaziken is now a massive threat. Landers is a threat. So, fortunately for me, I know Garchomp can take any one attack from this thing. Um, wait, no, sorry. I mean, it can, uh, set up, outspeed this thing now that I know it's Z. I can outspeed it. Um, this is where the chip against, uh, the play in Scalpy mattered. Obviously, I was really afraid of Endeavor, which is why I made the play that I did. But uh, kind of, in, in, I should have realized that Garchomp on one, potentially one, two, potentially three, four of these Mons still gets up rocks. If I had not taken that Earthquake damage, I actually lived Earthquake in, so I got to get some chip on this, which puts put Swell in a position to just clean up really a lot easier. Uh, I clicked the Stone Edge here um, because uh, I'm. Uh, Focus on just getting this chip on this thing. Stealth Rocks is no longer super helpful, helpful to me. Um, and I just need to get the chip on this thing because uh, I, I don't have a really good answer to this. If you realize, um, I need to... So really, if you realize that uh, Swell... If I, the reason I say this thing about Stealth Rocks earlier is because if I had had that health guard shop, I took that... Uh, I took, took that, and then I also set up my Rocks, in which case Swell pretty much just won this game. Um, realize that Swell, this thing already has a little bit of chip on it. Uh, so after two rocks, Swallow probably killed it. Um, so I go into Garchomp and and make this play because after this, I have no good option to beat um, Landorus. Uh, so it ha I have to weaken it so to make sure that Swallow can kill it. Obviously, Chandelure can't outspeed it and will die. I'm going to can't outspeed it and will die. So that happens. I go into Swallow here. I click the uh, Boom Burst because he goes into Reunion Cliff, which is a good play by him. At this point, he now he saves Landorus knowing it threatens Chandelure and uh, Magirna so hard if they don't set up. He, probably, he might assume I'm like a Scarf Chandelure at this point, to be honest. Um, but he realized pretty much quickly here that I must be either a Scarf or some kind of like item, like a, like a, like a berry or something, because that is not Specs damage. And he uh, proceeds to click Recover there, which is a definite... Or, sorry, click Psy Shock there, which was the wrong play. Sorry. He should have clicked Recover there, which would have been the right play. No, um, assuming he could have taken another one. Maybe he wasn't sure if, about the roll, I guess. Clicking Psy Shock there was definitely very risky, because now Magirna comes in, I shift gear up, and uh, he clicks Recover, and I know he has Recover now, and so this is a pretty big guessing game right here, um, because if I click, I'm Z Floor Cannon, he, he doesn't know if I'm Z, he doesn't know if I'm Z Floor Cannon or not, but he knows I'm probably Z, because I'm Magirna, it's my Z-Mon, it usually runs Z moves, it's good with Z moves, uh, so I have to realize that if I click the Z Floor Cannon, and he, and I'm, it's not, it's a roll to kill in his favor, that it won't kill, um, so if I don't kill this thing, I'm in a lot of trouble, uh, because, um, Chandler is going to be in a tough spot setting up and killing this thing. Um, and Magina basically goes to waste if it can't kill with the Z-Flirt Cannon. So I actually lure him by clicking Flash Cannon, making him think that's the best move I have. Uh, I took the Flash Cannon first, make him, let him click Recover. Now he's probably going to think he's safe, because the average dumb player would click Z-Flirt Cannon the first chance they get. I kind of bait him and click the Flash Cannon first, just make him think he's clicking Recover, um, in reality, the play is still the exact same on this next turn for me, but he, the reason you click Flash Cannon there is because this puts him in a situation where he might assume, oh, Flash Cannon might be the best move to hit him. Um, if he's smart, he knows that uh, it probably is is my not my best move to hit him, and he knows I'm just kind of setting up a lure. But the prop, the thing is, for me, the play doesn't matter. Um, like, the Flash Cannon is going to happen when the Flash Cannon happens, and if I can try to put myself in a position, like, the flush can forces a t forces some friction there. It makes him think I might not have it. And if that it gives me a chance for him to make the wrong play. Basically, I put him in a position where he might make the wrong play. Obviously, that's better than him always making the right play. Um, so I pull, I am able to click the Z floor cannon here. Like I said before, I don't kill. Um, I actually get an incredibly insane roll, uh, but I think it was still in his favor. Um, so it is what it is. Um, so he lives that, but he actually clicks the Calm Mind. Which is absolutely huge for me because I have a flash cannon here and I destroy this thing. Um, at this point, he needs to play really well around this Magirna to win. Uh, Magirna could potentially just go off. He goes into Blaze Kid. I click Flood King because it's the only move that kills. And he very smartly goes into Landorus. Um, 
which had to be his play. Um, he goes into uh, Blaziken and clicks agility. Swallow did outspeed uh, Blaziken, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he was turned out to be agility Blaziken, uh, but I clicked Floor Cannon, which was a roll. Um, I think it was a pretty 50 50 roll, I'm not sure. Uh, I did have a, win, a way to win in the back, though, so I was pretty comfortable with that. I knew that uh, in the end, if Chandelure, or if uh, Blaziken died, and. Um, sorry, what should I say? If I don't kill Blaziken, I kill it with Swellow, um, and then he goes into Manectric. Swellow doesn't kill from this range of HP, but uh, I should say. Uh, so he would kill Swellow, but he does not have the. Uh, offensive prowess to take down Chandelure, which is a fairly bulky Chandelure. So, I'm able to just click Aura Sphere because I know Swell is going to kill. I'm not going to take chances with Floor Cannon missing. I actually managed to get off two to. I think I already secured the roll with the first one. But I just didn't want to make sure I wasn't missing. Um, I go into Swellow. I uh, click the Boom Burst. And uh, it's pretty neat. I was pretty amped. Um, a really good game. Thought he uh, had me on the ropes early with the uh, Z Bloom Doom. Z Bloom Doom definitely put me on the ropes a little bit more than I was expecting. So I thought Slowbro was a potential win con and walled all these physical threats when it, in the end, it did not. Um, so Scarf Swallow. Swallow, again, is putting the team on its back in another game, to be honest. It's putting a lot of work in and a lot of uh, tension on the game. Magirna having its actually its first sweep of the season. Um, and the Chandelure set not getting the work I was really hoping it would. Uh, Gudra went down a little early. Garchomp, I misplayed around, but Garchomp still did its job pretty effectively. Um, I was really surprised that there was no Quagsire in this game, but... Uh, just because it obviously was a potential problem. I was running Hidden Bar Grass here. Uh, Flirt Cannon kind of beat Quagsire here. I was running Power Whip. Um, I w and I was running Energy Ball and Chandelure. I really was al almost over-prepped for Quagsire. Um, so, yeah, regardless, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're going to finals where we'll be playing New Jersey Flabebe, coached by Neff. Um, he has a absolutely killer team this season and has been on a dominant, has had a dominant season performance. So, Including beating Cherry Mander in the, his uh, his uh, playoffs games, which uh, was a player that beat us, so that's definitely nerve wracking. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Crack Nation out.